But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, Please, Lord, wasn't this what I said when I was still in my own country? Therefore I hurried to flee to Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness, and you repent of the evil. Therefore now, Lord, take, I beg you, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. The Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and there made himself a booth and sat under it in the shade until he might see what would become of the city. The Lord God prepared a vine and made it to come up over Jonah that it might be a shade over his head to deliver him from his discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the vine. But God prepared a worm at dawn the next day, and it chewed on the vine so that it withered. It happened when the sun arose that God prepared a sultry east wind, and the sun beat on Jonah's head so that he fainted, and requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. God said to Jonah, Is it right for you to be angry about the vine? He said, I am right to be angry, even to death. The Lord said, you have been concerned for the vine, for which you have not labored, neither made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. Shouldn't I be concerned for Nineveh, that great city, in which are more than 120,000 persons who can't discern between their right hand and their left hand, and also much cattle?'